So, I'm Jocelyn Cunningham, and uh, I, I'm from an organization called Arts and Society, and I do a lot of work with the RSA on community-based uh, work that's looking at change in a place and how we tell that story. I lead on the arts end of all of that. So that touches on volunteering, it touches on democracy, it touches on decision making and policy. Um, and I think what I get most excited about is uh, mixing people up. So for me, it is and can't be about citizens. And it's, it's you've got to bring decision makers, people who run services, try and make services work, and people who use services all in the same place having um, discussions, creative opportunities, the kinds of spaces that we've been talking together. But for me, the big question is who's in that space in the first place? And where is, where is the power dynamic? And so often it's about a focus group or a, a consultative process that you were showing in your films. And for me, you've got to start with um, that jargon word of flat landscape. So it's got to be a neutral place. Like here, we're in a church. It's a place that's not owned by any particular party. And because we're doing things like the buttons and the filming, um, we're able to create a different kind of dialogue together. And for me, that is urgent. It's not just a lovely, nice thing to do. If we don't change the way we talk, we're not gonna change what's going on. One of the, um, the things I'd like to ask you about is one of the assumptions within the question put to us by the DCLG is mm -hmm. around challenging neighbourhoods now, that's value laden, so yes. would you like to <laughs> give me your version of what you would consider to be challenging neighbourhoods, and, and I guess the question is who decides what is challenging? Well, yeah. <laughs> so whose question is it in the first place? I mean, that, 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 that is from the very beginning, the, 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 the paradigm that we've got to reject. Absolutely. So I, I think even that notion of, you know, there was a question in the morning about how did you engage with those young people? I mean, even that question betrays a particular paradigm. I'm holding power. You have less power. How can I engage you? So it, it, it sets up uh, a dynamic that's unhelpful. So I think we instead need to be thinking about invitation. So what kind of space do we create where everyone, and that includes, let's not exclude, the people with power and decision makers, they're included in that place. And I know from my own work that of course they're frightened about being in a place where they can be uh, um, uh, made to feel that they're somehow responsible for all the world's woes. So it's finding a human space for people to have those conversations that's essential. So even the questions betray a particular point of view that really does need to be shifted in the first place. Um. We don't really need to explore that any further because it's not about, I mean, the assumption implicit is that we're talking about poor communities and yes. somehow it's, yeah. a, de it's yeah. a deficit. Yeah, uh, completely. In, in implication yeah. and, and really, yeah. really prefer not to get into that polarisation. Uh, no. so, so, so it comes down to a question sometimes about resources. So what about the issue of resources and, and disproportionate resources available? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's where also we put those resources, because I think there's, a, again, a kind of a dichotomy of some people have money, some people don't. We need to redistribute that. Well, of course we do. And yet at the same time, I think, you know, Malika's point earlier about uh, um, finding, f f finding a, 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 a place in the middle where we start to look at things in an imaginative way, and that includes policymakers. So yes, of course, we need to address the imbalance of resources without question, I, I, it, but I think it's more interesting to, to be thinking about how can we start to reimagine things differently, that as a matter of that reimagining, redistributes those resources. What next? Um, having more open spaces where policy makers, decision makers, are invited in as a part of the conversation, not in a consultative kind of way, and that we have more creative opportunities to engage people in doing together. So we have, regardless of the color of anyone's uh, political party, they are doing the button exercise in an equal way, and that doesn't happen overnight. It's an incremental process, and we've got to start doing that everywhere. Okay, thank you.